Thank you. Starting to get some uh, illuminated views now. As we uh, track the approach of the Soyuz vehicle uh, to the International Space Station, now just about seven kilometers away from the space station, okay. closing in at a rate of about uh, 10 meters per second. Here you can actually see the view from the Soyuz spacecraft. It might be a little bit hard to tell, but right in the crosshairs there, they are uh, aiming for the International Space Station. At the bottom left of the screen, you can see in Cyrillic the uh, range and the range rate. Looking at just under seven kilometers now, approaching at a rate of about uh, just over 10 meters per second. In the meantime, you can see from one of the external uh, high-definition viewing cameras, the International Space Station itself start starting to get some good views of the Soyuz vehicle as it approaches. Thank you. And it looks like we have some video communication back. We might experience another lag. Uh, but while we have it, you can see the International Space Station right in the crosshairs of the Soyuz vehicle. That's now uh, just under 800 meters away from the International Space Station. Okay, so we are sending the final approach command. Copy. The command has been sent. Copy. So the uh, Soyuz now in a station keeping mode. Very quickly assessed uh, approach looks good and has initiated the final approach command. The range is 178. You can see the range uh, rate starting to increase as the Soyuz begins its final approach. The range is 45 meters. The rate is 0.18. SSFP is ready. Yes, seven, nine, twelve. They're all illuminated. The range is 40 meters. Great views of the Soyuz MS-11 craft approaching the space-facing port the of the Russian side of the space station. The target is at the center of the periscope. Copy. We're almost at the 20 meter range. The target is at the center of the crosshairs. It's probably uh, misaligned by half a degree from the center, but it's nominal. The range is approximately 20 meters. Everything looking good so far. The Soyuz currently in a closure rate of one tenth of a meter per second. You can see the target of the docking port now in view. Display, I'm expecting the same flag on format or display 44. It's confirmed. The range is estimated at 18 meters. The target is at the center of the periscope. Great views from some of the high-definition external cameras of the station. Point 12. There is some misalignment still. Copy all. I believe that's what it's supposed to be. Copy. The rate is 0.14. The range is 
approximately 10 meters. The target is at the center of the periscope. There are some misalignments, but they're not critical. Copy. Just 10 meters away. Docking mechanism powered up on the Soyuz. Stand by for contact and capture. Uh, approximately 10 meters. Copy. The target is in the center. Yeah, it's actually not easy to turn the periscope display. The target is in the center. We are at three meters. The target is in the center. We are standing by for the capture. The rate is 0.12. There are some misalignments. We are standing by for the capture. Yes, capture is confirmed. Good contact. Mechanical capture is confirmed. Copy all. Moscow State. And capture. So we have capture and um, station is in free drift. Copy. We go to page six. Station is in free drift. Good contact and capture of the Soyuz MS-11 craft. 11.33 a.m. Central Time as the station was flying 251 statute miles over the Atlantic Ocean. Принято. Принято, есть сыпка. 